Susan Hobbs with Awesome Possibilities joins us now, and she's brought a few friends from Waldo's Muttley Crew foster home. One of them is looking for adoptive parents, and this is Hugo and his foster mom, Paula. Puntini. Puntini. All right. I wanted, to, I wanted you to say it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, good afternoon to all of you guys. Thanks for bringing Hugo by. Tell us a little bit. He has a unique story. Tell us a little bit about how he was discovered. Well, um, I, I, I was uh, one night I was uh, working, and all of a sudden a couple of pictures just came to my phone, and it just showed this dog. It was from a, a local shelter, a rescue coordinator there, and it just showed two pictures of this, and. Obviously, as anybody would be, I was shocked. Sure. Well, I immediately called her and said, what the heck, and yes, we want him. Turns out that um, Hugo had been in, a, in an apartment, and a guy had gone to deliver pizza. And he saw him in the home. And thank goodness, he called Animal Control and reported Hugo. So an Animal Control officer went to Hugo and, or I mean, went to um, the, the home and um, he was confiscated then at that point. Um, the story given by the people to the officer was that they didn't have enough money for food, obviously for him. Obviously they had money for themselves. Um, so I guess the importance, I guess, of this story is that if you see something, report it. Right. Well, and that's, it, you know, it really, the pictures are, are very profound because, you know, Hugo looks a lot better. Obviously, Hugo could use, you know, uh, some more TLC as over time he'll get, he'll get a little thicker. You know, he seems to be eating treats now. But those yeah. pictures were pretty <laughs> profound in the fact that, uh, you know, it just shows sort of the dire circumstances in which he was in initially right. Right. and the importance for people like whoever this pizza guy was to, to speak up and call animal control. Oh, exactly. Exactly. So, yes, if you do see something, say something. Call the police. Call the mayor's. Action Council call animal control directly um, and th the other part of this story is uh, wonderful rescue groups and fosters who will uh, uh, jump in and take an animal in this condition generally speaking the uh, uh, city shelter <clears throat> doesn't have the bandwidth to really help with an animal in this condition so it's up to rescues like Waldo's Muttley crew and their wonderful fosters like Paula over here to uh, get the dog out and get it some help and they're doing a great job with this boy yeah Paula I wanted to ask you why uh, why, why are you a foster and, and tell us a little bit about Hugo as well well um, I'm a people nurse and I actually defaulted into nursing when I decided I could not stomach the vet uh, medicine and dealing with the people in that. <laughs> so I, the way I guess I get my fix is to take these animals, especially the ones that, um, like Hugo, um, Kathy sent me the picture and I sent some profanities back and saying <laughs> what's going on and... Which you can't share on the new <laughs> yeah, newscast, no, right? Exactly. Not a good idea. But you know, the thing, I, I think, you know, yeah, I'm taking care of him. He's getting better. We're giving him medicine. But for me, I think the biggest part of being a foster is allowing dogs, they, they forgive. They, they just, you know, it's okay. He, he spent three years at the hands of humans that starved him, but look at him now. I mean, he's... He has a very sweet disposition. He's a very sweet dog. Um, he, you know, other than getting into the cat food and that sort of thing, um, he's not been a problem. He plays with the other dogs and cats. But he, they just need a chance. You know, they sure. can come from all kinds of um, situations, but we just give them a chance to thrive. Oh, that's and great. That's what matters. We got some information about... Wallace Motley, uh, Motley, excuse me, Motley mm -hmm. crew Motley that's crew. up on the screen right now for inform information about that. If you guys have any interest in contacting Waldo's Motley crew, if you're interested in becoming a foster parent for some of these animals who have stories very similar to Hugo's who mm -hmm. were in need of a forever home, mm -hmm. uh, they can reach out to you guys as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just to if you guys want to meet him, he's going to be at Hamilton Town Center, is it? On Saturday. Yeah, they have a, a an party. annual chalk yeah. festival. So that'll be his first very public outing. Event. That's great. He'll be there from 1 until 5. Wonderful. Right. Well, well, I want to thank you. Sure <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys for joining us this afternoon, and uh, it was great to meet Hugo, and great to hear about uh, all the efforts that you guys are doing to thank help you. find these guys some forever homes. Randy, 